Today we have brought you a number of updates. Seaside Police Department replaces old Ford Crown Vicks with Teslas. Tesla Model S Plaid delays continues. Tesla made it easier to retrieve event data recorder information. And Tesla Model 3 and Model Y prices go up again. So let's get started. Are electric vehicles suitable for law enforcement duty? Some police departments think so, and they are replacing their aging gas-burning sedans with clean battery electric vehicles in an effort to reduce their carbon footprint. One such example is in Seaside, California, where the local police department has ditched two of its old Ford Crown Victoria cruisers for a pair of brand new Tesla Model Ys. During a Seaside City Council meeting back in February, it was noted that vehicles in the police department's fleet only drove an average of just 26 miles per day, this means even much lower range EVs would have still been fine for the job, which prompted the local chief of police, Admiral Pridgen, to say that there aren't very many departments that are deploying electric vehicles, and we wanted to be at the forefront of the movement to be more environmentally conscious. They will be spending a total of $354,000 on the two Teslas, as well as three hybrid Ford models, we are not told what model they are. The pair of Model Y probably accounts for a little over $100,000 of that entire sum, which comes from the department's supplemental law enforcement and asset forfeiture monies. But buying Teslas for police duty isn't always as easy as in Seaside. In Spokane, Washington, the local city council didn't want to buy Teslas when the time came to replace some of its older cop cars, but they eventually did, after insisting that hybrids would be better suited for the role. Another example comes from Ipswich, Massachusetts, where one Model Y was purchased with up to $15,000 off the list price, thanks to local incentives and green vehicle grants. Moving to the next update, Tesla Model S Plaid delays continue. Brooks from the YouTube channel Drag Times is known for drag racing all kinds of supercars for many years now. He has a revolving collection of supercars, most of which he frequents at the drag strip. Fortunately, he's the type of drag racer that's embraced EVs and currently owns a Tesla Model 3 Performance and a Model Y Performance. He has two more Teslas on order, a Model S Plaid and a Plaid Plus. The Plaid Plus he ordered, won't be delivered until next year, but he was supposed to get his plaid by now according to an update he got from Tesla in January. That's not the case anymore. In early April he received an update from Tesla stating the new delivery date would now be in July. The delay isn't much of a surprise. Back in February, according to reports some customers who ordered the Model S plaid were supposed to receive it in March. Then earlier this month according to reports many customers had their Plaid delivery dates pushed to May-July. By looking at Tesla's 2021 Q1 deliveries, we know Tesla did not produce any Model S or Model X units because the factory was still retooling for the refreshed versions. Are they being produced now? It's hard to say, but more Model S Plaid models have been seen driving around lately. It's likely they are pre-production models. Part of the delay could also be attributed to the temporary Fremont factory shutdown that happened in February caused by a parts shortage. Let's hope the July delivery date is accurate, because many of us want to know what the Plaid is capable of. Next update is, Tesla made it easier to retrieve event data recorder information. Tesla's event data recorder, EDR, is like an airplane's black box, it records just about everything that the car is doing and what the driver does to the car. For example, the data shows the vehicle's speed, how far each pedal is pressed, what kind of g-forces the vehicle is experiencing, what settings are on or off, which seat belts are buckled, and much more. If a Tesla is involved in an accident, the information in the EDR could be critical to the owner and authorities investigating the accident. In the past, it wasn't always easy for Tesla owners to retrieve the information in the EDR, but now, Tesla has made it much easier. Although, it comes at a price. Tesla launched an EDR resources site that gives Tesla owners the software and hardware they need to obtain the EDR information. It also provides directions on how to retrieve the data from a Tesla. Directions can vary depending on the year and model. 
According to the website, to access EDR data from a Tesla vehicle you'll need a Windows computer, appropriate cables and adapters, the Tesla EDR retrieval program and a Metesla account. See the help page for more information. Fortunately, the software needed is free, but the required cables and USB 2 can adapter aren't. A complete EDR retrieval kit, from Crash Data Group, costs $1,200. In addition, if you don't have a Windows computer you might have to borrow one or pay a technician to retrieve the data for you. Speaking of paying a technician for the data, that's exactly what a Tesla owner had to do when Tesla wouldn't give him the EDR information, stating legal reasons after a valet driver crashed his Model 3. It cost the Tesla owner $1,300 for a technician to retrieve the EDR data, which proved that the valet driver hit the accelerator pedal instead of the brake pedal right before the parking garage accident. Moving on to the last update, the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y prices go up again. Not much time has passed since Tesla's last price increase in the US, around April 9, prices of the Model 3 and Model Y changed again. This time, the non-performance versions went up by $500. Model 3 Standard Range Plus. Up $500 from $38,490 to $38,990. Model 3 Long Range All-Wheel Drive. Up $500 from $47,490 to $47,990. Model 3 Performance Long Range All-Wheel Drive 20. No change, $56,990. Model Y Long Range All-Wheel Drive 19. Up $500 from $50,490 to $50,990. Model Y Performance Long Range All-Wheel Drive 21. No change, $60,990. On top of that is of course the $1,200 destination and handling, which makes the least expensive Tesla a $40,000 car. Prices of the Model S and Model X remain at the same level for more than a month. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.